Hey guys, uh, this is going to be an exciting series of videos. Uh, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to go through the Cisco exams practice uh, emulator they get, I got. And I'm going to show you guys how to figure out the answers and just how you would work the question out. You know, we can test it live here with Packet Tracer. So we can actually test it and see the commands just so it sticks a lot better um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna release short videos part one part two part three part four they're gonna be random so I can't really say anything just whatever the next button gives me like as you can see I got 139 questions here so this is only for CCENT and I will be doing some on CCNA so uh, what I did is I'm gonna prepare each question I'm gonna pause it and prepare the packet tracer so you don't have to sit through that and I've tried to make it as usual user friendly as possible <clears throat> so what we're gonna do in this video is figure out this question here I've set up the network behind me it, it works and we're gonna decipher this this question that Cisco has given us here so it says in the diagram, PC1 here has successfully pinged PC4. Which of the following should be true about the status of this network? So A, PC1's ARP cache should list an entry for 10.1.1.1, which is this network here. Uh, the show IP route command on router 3 should list both PC4's MAC and router 2's F1 interface and the show IP ARP command on router 1 should list PC1's MAC address and the show IP ARP command on router 3 should list PC1's MAC address so I'm just gonna move this aside I'll leave it kind of down below so we can see the, qu the answers alright so it wants to know let me just clear that off here okay so it wants us to issue a ping to PC4 so in my network I have it ping 192.168.4.2 okay so hit enter okay so we issued our ping so now we should be able to test these questions here so the show IP ARP command output on router 3 which is this guy should list both PC4's MAC address and our R2's FA1 MAC address. So let's issue that now. So show IP ARP. Now how to decipher this here. I'm going to move this down. So as you can see down here, let me just see if I can get this a little smaller. Alright, that's the best I can do. Okay, so as you can see here we're going to start line by line. So you can see here it has an ARP request of 3.1 we're looking at this router here so 3.1 in my network is this interface right here so it sees that it says 3.2 which is its own interface and you can see the interface uh, like what interface they're on over here so FA00 it goes out this way uh, and then it sees 4.1 on this side here okay and 4.2 is the PCs over here so the first question or sorry the first show IP ARP command on router 3 should list both PC4's MAC address and R2's FA01 which is correct mine might say 00, zero. I didn't set it up exactly specifically to the answers so yes that's true okay because it can see this interface here and it can see this interface and that's what the questions asking for correct so we can close that down I'll start from the top so PC1 ARP cache should list an entry for this interface so in my case it would list the ARP cache for uh, my gateway okay so we can just hit a command and we can go ARP-A so just gives us a list of our ARP cache 
And as I can see, my gateway 1.1 has learnt the MAC address. So you can check that off. And Cisco is tricky. It doesn't tell you choose the correct two, three, or four answers. It just says, just asks you the question. All right, moving on. So showing the uh, output command for R R1, so which would be this guy here, should list PC1's MAC address. So this router needs to list PC1's MAC address. Let me move that into view. So hit enter, enable. So show um, IP ARP. Okay, so R1, which is this guy, has the MAC address for 1.1, which is this interface here. Uh, 1.10, which is my PC. 2.1, which is this interface, and 2.2, which is this interface. Okay, so that answer is correct, as you can see. And now the show IP ARP command on router 3 should list PC1's MAC address. So let's do that. Let's, well, we already have it here. We've already issued it. So we can check that out. And do you see a 1.10 here? No, you don't. So we can close that. And I'm pretty sure we can submit our answer here. Let's go answer. And we have correct. We are correct. So just a little def uh, an explanation about the ARP and the LAN. So yellow here indicates an ARP area for devices and green just indicates like a LAN. So this would be a local area network. Okay. This would be a local area network. This would be a local area network. And that would be a local area network. So we'd have four local area networks. But ARP is like this. So if you're looking at the ARP table, like on this PC, it would be only this. But if you're looking at this router, it can see all the four interfaces. Okay, so if you're ever stuck on a question, it's asking you, what would be the ARP IP address on, uh, for this case, router 1? Well, I know without even issuing it that it's going to have this MAC address, this MAC address, this MAC address, and this MAC address. And the same with this router. This router's ARP uh, table would list these four. And again, with this PC, it would only list this. So ARP will list the MAC addresses that it has connected to, like in the same LAN. So regardless if it's a router, it's you know each interface is two different LANs to the router. They're still like on the same LAN. If I'm trying to make it a little simpler to understand, just so you can understand the question. Alright, so I hope uh, that helped a little bit, and we're going to get to the next question here.